Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be something new that I haven't talked about on our channel previous to this and or prior to this, whatever, it's all the same. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is spirituality. Now, when I talk about spirituality, I realize that it is a very, very controversial subject. Um, now I, let me, let me just back up and tell you guys a little bit about myself here. I am a believer that everyone should be able to believe in what they wish to believe in and that as long as it's not harming anybody that it shouldn't matter. Um, I was raised in a Lutheran church and I, it was a fairly strict Lutheran church, not like, but like fairly strict. And something that always, I guess, was a conflict for me was that we were being taught to not judge and to love everyone, but then on the flip side of it, we're not supposed to love everyone. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go kind of jump into this. And this is my take. This is my own personal thoughts, experience, whatever. If you have a differing opinion, that is okay. And if you'd like to talk about your differing opinion, feel free to comment down below. Also, be sure that you guys are subscribed, that you ring the bell icon. Um, I'd really like to see more involvement. Also, be check, be sure to check out our social media at service dog underscore stone for service dog related posts or at Poland Vlogs for posts relating to this channel. Um, anyways, back on track. So I, I understand this is going to be something that people have differing opinions on. Now, with that being said, I would say that I am Christian, um, but I would say that I don't necessarily go by all the traditional Christian, no, that doesn't even sound right, because I can't say it's traditional. I don't go by the way that I was raised. Um, I am a believer in equal rights for everyone, regardless of race, sexual status, is sexual status the right word? Anyways, what I'm basically trying to say is that I don't care um, if you're gay, bi, homosexual, queer, transgender, I mean, any, any of those labels, um, I don't care. You are a human being or a, a person. And, and you, you deserve to be loved and fully accepted for who you are. And I, I don't believe that there are, excuse me, that there are mistakes per se or anything like that. And so that, that whole thing kind of conflicts with my view. Um, some of my best friends are, uh, bisexual or homosexual, um, I I don't think that doing something bad no okay wait let me stop this has nothing to do with the homosexual part guys okay so what I'm what I'm about to move on to is just my brain thought so my thought is that if you do something bad it doesn't automatically mean that you're a bad person who's going to help um I and again not relating homosexuality to bad and going to hell I just want to put that out there. This is just kind of one of those, um, oh no, I lost my shoe. Um, this is just kind of one of those, gosh, I am not prepared for this at all. What I'm trying to say is that I have a great love for a lot of people and even people that are no longer in my life, I still have a lot of care for them and I'd never wa wish bad upon them. Um, even the people that have done bad things to me, I do not wish bad upon them because it is my belief that if I am devoting negative energy into, um, into wishing that person bad luck or bad karma or bad whatever, that it actually is going to come around and come back to me because it's, it's under my own impression that, uh, sorry, somebody drove by, that 
if you put good things out there, then good things will come back to you. And I've struggled with that a lot, um, especially with my mental health, because my mental health will tell me that that is incorrect. That's not the way to think. Um, and so with all of that, it, with my mental health and everything, it drove me to start exper uh, not experimenting, that's not the right word. Well, experimenting can kind of be the right word, but exploring uh, my spirituality and what it means to me and what is all involved in it and, and everything else. So um, that is where we kind of get into the gist of our, our video for today. So, like I mentioned, I was, um, I was raised Lutheran, or in a Lutheran church. Uh, my mother was always very open and accepting and loving of multiple individuals. Um, she didn't see, you know, color, age, sex, any of that. She was very open. Um, she still is very open to, uh, just being a loving individual and so as time went on my mom and I started exploring different churches and ultimately we found ourselves in a non-denominational church um, and I felt like their views were a little more in line with mine um, and I've gone back and forth throughout the years of my spirituality of being very close to God and then being very withdrawn um, Sorry, some like shenanigans are going on outside. So. <laughs> so anyways, I, I, I found that a lot more of the views kind of stuck with me and I've gone back and forth of being like highly religious and not very religious, highly religious, not very religious. And it kind of is like an ebb and flow with my mental health and my physical health. Um, for me personally, it's very hard to be like, Raw, raw. when you have all these negative things happening to you and you don't feel very good and you're sickly and you're and for me this is my thought process anyways it's like how can God exist if I feel like this or if I had this stuff happen to me or this that the other and I realize that the world is not a perfect place I am NOT a perfect human being and I don't expect everybody else to be but I am trying to better myself so that I can be a better influence for those around me, including my son, my husband, my family, friends, whatever. So that brings me to the next part. <laughs> so I, like I said, I've come and gone from the church multiple times. I've always been um, a believer in some sense or, or another. Uh, it just, my dedication level would change. Um, over this last couple years, I found myself probably the furthest away from God that I've ever been. Um, I, I couldn't believe that this would be the path that I was supposed to go down. Now, looking, looking at it now, I can see that this was probably something that was very beneficial for me and... Uh, while I would never want to necessarily go through all of that again at the same time I feel like I'm maybe better off for it because I've learned a lot about myself So that's where we move into the next part of spirituality now spirituality is very wide for a variety of people um, Depending on your beliefs you may uh, Strongly agree or disagree with what I'm about to say now um I have found that I have been drawn to more positive, uh, uplifting messages. I've I felt a stronger connection, um, and it's gonna sound kind of hippy dippy, and let it be that way. Uh, but I'm feeling more of a connection with the earth and the things around me and nature. And I mean, I am craving nature right now, guys. I want to go out and I want to just go sit in the middle of a grassy field and just feel the cool air, listen to the birds chirp and all of that. But it's winter and uh, yeah, I can't do that. It's too cold. And um, it's winter. There's not grass. Well, there is grass, but it's not good grass right now. The ground is very wet. It's moist. <laughs> um, 
Anyways, so with that though, it brings me back to, you know, uh, where do I fall in this spiritual journey that I'm on? And what I've come to, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, guys. Um, what I've come to learn about myself is that I am much more um, drawn to things of nature and I am a believer that there is things out there that possess energy, positive energy, negative energy, um, things that are good for your inner being and that is what's drawn me to, wow, this is a long video, guys, drawn me into my next stage of spirituality. So with my spirituality, I have ventured into um, the use of crystals and um, when I say this, uh, now this is kind of hard because I know that traditionally the things that I'm about to talk about go against the uh, way I was raised, not by my family, but by the church. So please keep in mind, I am not worshiping the devil. I am still a believer of Jesus Christ, um, our God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I just feel that there is potential that maybe, um, no, not maybe, that there is more and that I can accept and appreciate and acknowledge things around me, the elements, and that that does not conflict with my love of God. So that being said, going back into it, I've started working with crystals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of my stuff uh, in the next video um, because this one's already getting kind of long and I don't want to overwhelm. Uh, so the other thing is I am also working with herbs and um, I am actually planting my own garden. Now, I traditionally say that I have black thumbs and that's not a race thing. That is legitimately, I cannot keep plants alive. Um, and I know that sounds weird considering I was just talking about like, ooh, I feel a connection to nature, but I do. It's just that I myself have not shown the responsibility and the compassion and the energy to grow something on my own and keep it alive. So that being said, <laughs> I started an herb garden. Um, it's going to be an indoor herb garden. I'm hoping to get it hung up on the wall as things get going. I've got some shelves to put up um, and then I'm going to put my herbs up behind me here. Um, I've also started growing some bonsai trees and that is a project that my husband and I are doing together. Um, I have started a eucalyptus. Um, I am a huge fan of eucalyptus. I love the smell. I love just the properties about it. And so when I saw it at Hobby Lobby, I was like, it's on clearance. I'll get it. I found out why it's on clearance. It was missing the, the soil disc that goes with it. But thankfully, I had other soil discs to add into it. So it wasn't a big deal. Um... I will show you my plants and their progress and stuff, and I'll probably post them on my like, social media and things, but that's irrelevant. The next part is, is something that I've always been interested in, but I was always very conflicted about, was tarot. Now, tarot, if you're not familiar, is traditionally um, linked back to a card game. However, tarot is more about giving you insights and interpretations on um, things that you are questioning. Uh, whether it be about yourself or things going on around you or whatever. Okay, so I'm not going to get too heavily into it, and I will show you my tarot stuff in, in, in the future. Um, but that is also part of my spirituality. So that is something I'm exploring, and I will be sure to show you in the next video too the other parts of that. Um, does it go against my Christian beliefs? Part of me says yes, and the other part of me says no. I'm drawn to it, so therefore, and I feel like it's not harming anybody, so is it really that bad? And then the other part of it is if it's giving me, if it's taking away the negativity that I carry within myself and helps me to see the positive in things and the flip side of things, then 
I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that I am feeling um, content with where I'm at and what I'm doing and with my practices. And uh, yeah, that, this was a very long-winded video to talk about that. If you guys would like me to talk more about um, spirituality and things that go into it, uh, or into my spirituality, I should say, please feel free to comment down below. Please be sure that you're liking these videos. Let me know that you're watching them and that um, you're learning from them. I am still very new in this journey that I'm taking, so I'm learning um, little bits at a time, and I thought that I would share as well, and this allows me to document my journey um, and also if I have information incorrect or if there is something that maybe could help with my spirituality practices, I'm putting it out there. That way you guys can feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think or feel or thoughts on things or recommendations or anything of that sort. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think what else I'm working with. I guess I will kind of go into a, a, my spiritual, um tools video. We'll do that next. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for supporting us and for tuning in and uh, hearing a little bit about my spiritual journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with uh, positive energy and um, just amazing good. And uh, thank you guys so much. So, 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 so very much. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye.